What's up, ladies and gents? It's your boy, Blue Streets, and I want to welcome you guys to another segment of LS Vision. Thank you for tuning in. So as you all know, I do have a how to create content series where I try to give information on how to put together videos, do some editing, um, adding overlays and things of that nature just to make your gaming channel a little more presentable and also have some efficiency with doing it so it doesn't feel like that you're learning rocket science. In this particular video, I'm going to edit one of my NHL 20 gameplays. And um, the point of this is just showing how to make things really efficient and, and streamline, um, maybe decrease your workflow. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see how this turns out. NHL 20 is one of my easier edits because there's not a lot of fancy things I have to do. And this is just more so about um, giving you guys some type of structured ladder of how you want to put things together. I'm going to be using Final Cut and Elgato. So let's go ahead and get started. When I come into my videos is I take my glitch intro that you guys see at the beginning of everything and I just pop it on into the timeline. That's just my starting point. And so in order so I don't have to use the magnetic timeline too much to get a little more like a little bit more freedom, I'll go ahead and put the cursor here at the end, go up to edit, insert generator, put a gap in. And this just gives me more freedom to manage my uh, clips that I add after the fact. I'll also do the same thing at the front so I can leave room for a teaser. It's just so I can move things around. If you see and look at how I move this, you know, obviously it like gives me freedom to just touch this and make this longer. So now let's go import our clips. So, hockey video. Um, let's go to movies. Wherever you have your files located. Mine is right here. So I go to movies. Toss that on in. Now we have the hockey video in. And then if you looked at one of my other videos about syncing your audio, you know that I, I like to isolate my audio, which is something that you want to do so you can manage the levels better. So I keep mine in this commentary folder. I have this labeled as new game, so I know where it is. Let's drag that on in. Then I got to sync it up. So I, what I like to do at the beginning of all my videos, let me just play this and show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me turn this volume down so it doesn't leak into the mic. So I'll press play. And you see how I'm clapping and you can hear the claps in the background, but I got to sync that up. So let me go ahead and sync that up. So let's find the first clap. I don't like what that said. And another thing I like to do is I'll turn it up. So you obviously can manage your audio. I already have my own preset and I'll make another video showing what those presets are. But this is something I keep called the Reese voice preset, which is just my name with a voice preset. It turns up everything. And as you see, the waves got way bigger, which makes them more visible for me. And then also what I'll do is I'll go up here into my effects. I'll hit the limiter, which is one of the presets already in here. And I'll just turn up that level so I can hear it much more clearly. I'll turn up to about like 9.5 or 10, 10 decibels, plus 10 decibels. So let me see that again. Like two or three times a week sometime. I think I'm off time. Think maybe like two. To the left. Sometime. Better, much much better all right so I'll do that right so now that we have that done now we can get rid of the filler footage so let's jump back to where the game actually starts all right highlight both boom come right down here and chop it down to right where my game begins I'm gonna come about right here so let's chop that down and as you notice when I delete that the gap in the middle gets longer and that's why I like to have the gap out in front because then now we have the gap, which is the length of the clip. I can drag this back and kind of line that up. Let's zoom that back in and make sure we all in sync off the intro. Because my whole thing when he first mentioned it to me was like, I'm not going there just because you're going there. It makes it easier, but like I got to kind of be my own direction. Perfect. Own thing. So we in the perfect situation. All right. So after we do that, I go on through and kind of get rid of what I don't need. So we all synced up. We good to go. So now I have the first part of the footage, but I won't put a, a transition on that just yet. What I like to do is go in between the periods and get rid of what I don't need. So this is the end of the first period right here. You can just tell from moving things around. This is the end of the first period. So let's see. Good shot, though. Yeah, I just I was looking. I was not used to about passing the back. Like, and the other thing that I like to do also is I turned it down earlier so it wouldn't leak in. But let's turn this back up. I usually keep that on about uh, like 4.5 or something like that. Cause I, I like to hear the gameplay also. So let me go ahead and cut this right where this ends. About right there. Blade that. We're gonna come over to the next one. I like to go about right here, right to the beginning of the next period. So we're gonna go ahead and chop that out. 
blade that up put this together right here so now we're going from the first period to the second period let's take a look all right there you go and then i do the same thing in, from the second into the third period so let's find the intermission which is right here yep 0 0.6 on clock all right so let's go ahead and chop that on out because that is the end of that period and we come over here to where the beginning of this period is so we want to double highlight again double highlight go ahead and chop it down about right there bring this on back so now we got the first period second period and third period all aligned up so now we're, what we're going to do is focus on the actual editing like this was just me doing some chop down this is now we're going to focus on like making the transitions so this is what i like to do so we're going to come back to the beginning of the video we have our first edge right here so we're going to just do a cross dissolve on that and i'll show you what that guys looks we'll show you guys what that looks like when it goes in i'm going to like put this in the big page you can kind of see how that comes on so boom we got our our intro right here let's take a look and it starts up and so then what i'm going to do is i'll just slide right on down to where i made the cuts in between periods so now we got this one so i'm going to do a simpler one just so it doesn't look too uh nothing too fancy but just make it like a cool transition so we can go to our transitions you see i have that spot highlighted which is the beginning of the clip go to transitions do fade the color and let's see that transition now you see they're aligned up with the audio so boom let's take a look at what the transition looks like i was looking i was looking you see about passing the back i'm like nah, i think there we gotta get this off video for my first dangler boom right to the second period just like that Got that done. Same thing down here. We're gonna slide on down to the end of the second period. Going into the third period, put a cross dissolve on the audio so it just transitions smoothly. Highlight the beginning of the clip, do another fade to color, and bang, we're good to go. Same thing as the other periods. End of the second period, going into the third period, and boom, now we got that. Then we're gonna slide down to the other break point, which is when the other team paused the game. Same thing right here, add a cross dissolve. Highlight the front, drop in the fade to color transition on the edge so it'll be aligned up perfectly. Gonna press play to test it out. He saw the pass. I thought, I thought. Same thing. So now we're good to go with that. So this is the other thing I like to do. So when I'm when I'm doing my like and subscribe, you will hear some of the audio because it's coming out of my speakers, but when I'm doing my like like and subscribe outro, I like to put like an overlay over that as far as another video. So we're gonna come right here. You guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. It is your boy Blue Streets. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button for me in the course and subscribe. I'll be back in the future more NHL 20 content. And so when I say that portion, I always like to put my intro over. So I bring this down, I take the audio out of it because I talk in this one. I chop it down to just the point where I'm sliding the camera um, up to my subscribe uh, up to my subscribe clip. And so let's find that audio again while I tell the audience to like and subscribe. We was rolling with a new team. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for this video. It is your boy, Blue Streets. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button for me in the course and subscribe. I'll be back in the future more NHL 20 content as well as Word of Chell and online verses. When I and you see a perfect transition. So to make it look a little bit cleaner, what I like to do is I'll take the fade to color transition. I'll put it on top of here. Then I'll cut out the first portion. So now let's do that. Let's zoom in right quick, just so we can follow the edge of this clip while I'm talking. Let's take a look at this. Rod, so until the next time, peace out. So okay, that's the outro. So put a cross dissolve back here. Put another cross dissolve here, which isn't necessarily, uh, you don't need to, but I just like to do it just for like, I don't know, it's just like kind of a visual thing for me. And then I take my outro page, which is this here. Put a cross dissolve on that. Bring it down slightly so it's not too much filler align it next to this to the outro of the uh video gameplay clip and then i just like to add some music just to add a little bit of flair so let's just pick a beat that i have how about this beat i have called amsterdam we'll just put this in here i'm going to highlight back here go up to trim press blade so that cuts the music down some then i'm going to delete this portion back here trim down the amsterdam clip fade out the audio Fade the audio in some up here. Turn it down so it's not too overpowering. Um, and maybe I'll even bring it right underneath the transition. I like to do that a lot, just right where the transition starts. Let's zoom that in so it, so it clips. 
zoom that in bring that right here where just about where it starts at and then match it up to the edge of the visual which is the transition of the outro, outro page blade the gap bar so we have our the, the end of our project here which is what's the time 21 minutes now let's take a look at that all combined up let's take a look at all that combined as it gets ready to go off so we have the outro 22 shots to seven we was rolling with a new team all right you guys so that's gonna do it for this video it is your boy blue streets if you did enjoy it please hit that like button for me and of course to subscribe i'll be back in the future more nhl 20 content as well as word of chill and online verses when i team up with my boy rod so until the next time peace out Let's just make that a little bit smoother. So let's turn the audio down. And I actually am going to decide to start it back here just so it won't sound too uh, out of sync. So let's watch that one more time. Peace. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button for me in the course and subscribe. I'll be back in the future more NHL 20 content as well as Word of Chill and online verses when I team up with my boy Rod. So until the next time, peace out. Perfect. And that's perfect we have our audio and we have everything in place so <clears throat> what I like to do also is make a teaser so what I try to do is go find like an interesting part of the video that I just think is awesome let's just scroll and see if we can find a goal here somewhere how about there we go right here's a goal so let's see what happened all right boom so we got that so what I like to do is I'll come down and I'll just highlight like a little portion like that. Just something that's a little bit interesting as a teaser. So I highlight the video and the audio. I blade it. I come over to after where the score was at and do the same thing again. So let's highlight the video and audio over here. Same thing, blade that. So now it highlights both of them in the middle. I like to press copy then undo blade, undo blade, so that goes back to look, looking like normal. Come back to the beginning where we made that original gap, and this is what we use it for. So we just bring it back, we drag this, so now we got more space at the beginning of the project without desyncing anything in the back end. Copy and paste it in, drag it on over to the beginning so it matches up, and that is what, about seven seconds of footage. So I like to go to the beginning of the highlight clip, do a cross dissolve just to fade it in. Same thing with the audio here. And I like to do that on this audio as well. Oh, we're out of sync. Let's get this a little bit closer. It's a little bit off. There we go, that's better. I like to do that same thing here. Do the same thing with the audio on the back end. And then like, you know, I have my own style of this, which you guys have seen in previous videos. So I'll highlight this, I'll go to lights, I'll use static because that's kind of fits with my channel LS Vision, just like a cool visual effect. That's really only four seconds of teaser, so let's drag this back some. That's really, really short. Drag that back some. So we have that audio to match up. And then I like to highlight this, go up to the style of my uh, static transition, go to style B. I have a audio clip saved here, which is the glitch sound reel. That's the sound you guys always hear whenever you hear my intro. So I like to take that, highlight that, bring that on down here, and let's watch it come on in. Zoom out. And now we have our video. So if you look at it, that took a total of about 17 minutes to edit. I'm gonna chop it down and try to make it a little more efficient as far as you guys watching it. But that took me 17 minutes total to make and the video is completely done. We have our intro teaser. Then we come on back here. We have our transition in between. That's one transition. Here's our second transition, which is just like the first. I'm not gonna play it because you guys know that it just fades in. Same thing here with this transition. And then we have our conclusion and outro. Video, it is your boy Blue Streets. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button for me in the course and subscribe. I'll be back in the future more in HL20 content as well as Word of Chill and online verses when I team up with my boy Rod. So until the next time, peace out. 
and just like that we're done that's all it takes okay you guys so that's gonna wrap it up for the how do I do my edits video um I try to be as detailed as possible while being brief um I believe we're in the 15 minute ballpark so hopefully that gives you enough detail without taking up too much time of your day I'm gonna try to continue this series um the main thing is mapping it out in my mind of how to be efficient while also giving you the type of information where you don't feel lost when watching the video so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up if you did like the video please hit the like button for me and of course hit subscribe until the next time it's your boy Lou Streets I am out. Peace.